Welcome back. We're following several new developments on the coronavirus this afternoon. Today, the U.S. has reached more than 600,000 deaths. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. This as the more contagious Delta variant is now spreading across the country and a possible fourth vaccine is now on the way. And we're joined live by Dr. Jeff Potoff from UW Health. Dr. Potoff, let's start there with that Delta variant. How prevalent is it? You know, how much more dangerous is it? And do the vaccines work against it? Yeah, these are good questions. So, you know, right now in the United States, only making up about 6% of cases, but that's growing. Uh, and likely over the next several months, this will be the dominant strain in the US. Now it's much more contagious, but maybe even more worrisome, uh, it's a little more dangerous. You're about twice as likely to end up in a hospital if you get COVID-19 from the Delta variant than from the normal type of COVID-19 that we've been experiencing. Now, here's the good news. Vaccination, full vaccination, uh, seems to be pretty effective against this. But one of the things that's different about this Delta variant is that if you only get one shot of a two-shot series, it looks like it's only about 50% effective. You get both shots, about 90% effective. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, a message to those who've only gotten that one shot, go out and get that second one because uh, it'll help you against this Delta variant. So let's talk about the vaccines. You know, only under half of the population here in Wisconsin has now gotten at least their first dose. And we've heard in the last 24 hours, Novavax says it's going to apply for FDA approval of its vaccine. Uh, does that make a difference? Because we're not even using all the ones we already have uh, that are here right now. Will this help at all? Yeah, I think it'll help, but probably in a little bit different way. So it's true that right now we do have um, more vaccine than we have people who are getting vaccinated with our current three vaccines. Now, where I think Novavax comes into play is at some point in time, we're gonna learn that our immunity starts to wane from our, our previous vaccination, uh, or we'll need to get a booster for a variant. And uh, you know, at that point, we're gonna have hundreds of millions of Americans looking for that booster dose. Having a fourth vaccine in the fold by that period of time could make that effort a fair bit quicker uh, when we get to that. That's good to know. I know that you guys have been doing your part to really get the word out there about the vaccines. You recently made a PSA with the two former governors, uh, Governor Scott Walker and Jim Doyle. What's the message there to people that might be hesitant to get the vaccine? You know, sometimes we start to make decisions just based on heuristics or this idea that I just kind of do what I do. And part of that is kind of our political affiliations. And what we wanted to do is was bring out a message that says, you know what, this isn't a Republican or a Democratic issue on whether or not to get vaccinated. You know, we're in the midst of the greatest public health crisis of our generation and the way to get out of it, we know now 100% is to get vaccinated. Uh, so, you know, leave those kind of political arguments, banter aside, go in, uh, roll up your sleeve, get vaccinated. That's how we all reach that common goal of getting back to normal. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of this has uh, become uh, political over the last year or so. Dr. Jeff Potoff uh, with UW Health, thanks for being with us here at noon. Thanks. A reminder here now, we've got some expanded coverage on the pandemic, including information about how to get vaccinated. That's at tmj4.com slash coronavirus.